Hi, I'm Suzanne Matson. Welcome to this video about the steering committee and how you can make an impactful steering committee presentation. You probably already know that the steering committee is the most senior decision-making body on the project. It's headed up by the sponsor and it should ideally consist of an uneven number in case they have to vote. The people you want on the steering committee are decision makers, not just people who are there because they need to know about what's going on. If that's the case, you can inform them in other ways. Now, before you even get to the presentation, you have to consider what you would like to gain from it. Is this a rubber stamping exercise where you want the members to just say, yes, thank you, the project is on track, please go ahead. Or are there some bigger issues, some decisions that you need the steering committee to make there and then in the meeting? If they don't make those decisions, perhaps the project cannot continue. That's a very different tone of the presentation and you need to make that clear right from the beginning. I propose that you use a PowerPoint presentation to support you. Do not read bullets, absolutely not, but it's very professional to have a deck that supports you. The first slide could be about decisions and actions from the last meeting. That's a very clever way to hold the steering committee members to account to the actions that they committed to. Secondly, you could have a slide about achievements since the last meeting. Your team isn't there in the meeting, so you need to promote all the good work they've been doing. In addition, insert a timeline with the milestones that have passed and the milestones that are still to come. Your steering committee members may not remember exactly where you're at in your project, so this visual timeline will greatly help them. I also recommend that you dedicate one full slide to financial status. Your steering committee members do want to know how much money you've spent, how much money is still remaining, and if you have enough to finish the project. Any metrics you can put in here is a plus, but don't make the slide too complicated. A couple of bar charts or a pie diagram is sufficient. We all like simplicity. And now we're moving into the real meat of the presentation. I would say dedicate at least one slide to the main risks and issues of the project. Perhaps the top five. What are the top five risks and issues? What are you proposing that is done about them? And who owns each risk and issue? People don't like problems presented to them. They like solutions. So as you're listing each risk and issue, have some mitigating actions listed. And the owner is very important. This is the point where you may ask certain steering committee members to own certain items, or you may ask them to endorse what the mitigating action will be of these items. So I would expect in the steering committee presentation that most of the debate centers around these risks and issues. It may also be that some changes have come up that they need to decide on, so also dedicate a slide to any changes, change requests, changes to scope that have occurred since the last meeting. And be sure that you also mention the impact of these changes. If the steering committee goes ahead and approves a change, what's the impact on time, on budget, and on the benefits? Once you lay out the impact, it's easy for the steering committee to decide whether it's a good idea to endorse them. And finally, I propose that you finish the presentation with actions. Anything, any decisions or actions that need to be made either in the meeting or subsequent to the meeting. Good luck. Thank you for watching.